Published, 316 EDT, 10 April 2018. Updated, 11.15 EDT, 10 April 2018. A cocaine dealer's law student girlfriend helped police smash a major drugs ring by boasting of her luxury lifestyle on social media. Emily Locke, 22, of Lanbradac, carefully, who earned less than £10,000 as a part-time checkout worker at Lidl, posted pictures on Instagram of designer clothes shoes and extravagant holidays. Along with her dealer boyfriend Mark Price, 27, they splashed out £100,000 on their Kim Kardashian lifestyle of foreign travel and high-end goods. Price, who claimed to be a struggling builder, even bought a an Audi RS4. While Locke splashed the drugs money on Vivian Westwood handbags, Gucci sunglasses, Christian Louboutin shoes and Christian Dior perfume. Emily Locke took selfies on one of her many holidays abroad, left and right, as she visited Miami, Paris, Spain, Amsterdam and Dubai. Locke jetted of the glamorous locations around the world, and would post pictures of her on the beach, left, and also uploaded snaps of her purchases, like these Tommy Hilfiger denim shorts. Right, another picture uploaded on her Instagram included this of the Bellagio Fountains in Las Vegas. Prosecutor Roger Griffiths told Mirth Tidville Crown Court the couple went on holiday to Amsterdam, Paris, Alicante, and Dubai, and had a trip to Thailand booked. Police raided Locke's home in September 2017 and found a blue plastic bag containing 110 grams of cocaine at 83% purity. They seized his phone which was found to contain a message to co-defendant Kyle Crowley boasting of making up to £1,600 a week from dealing cocaine. Officers also found a receipt for his Audi. Locke with boyfriend Mark Price on holiday in Miami, left, and the couple posing in front of a Ferrari spider hire car in Dubai, writes the law student, who got three grey days at A-level, and obsessed with living like a celebrity and dreamed of a Kim Kardashian lifestyle Emily Locke, right, in Paris, and left, showing off her passport as she made her way abroad, boasted of her luxury lifestyle on Instagram. One of Locke's purchases included these Christian Louboutin shoes. Other items included Chanel trainers, left, and Versace slippers, Right the court heard he took out a £33,000 loan by fraudulently stating he was employed by a construction company that had gone bust. Price, of Carefully, admitted possessing cocaine with intent to supply, being concerned in the supply of cocaine and fraud. Police searched Locke's home and found high-end designer clothing, jewellery, watches, bags and other accessories. Prosecutors estimated the items to be worth around £50,000 with some belonging to her and some to her boyfriend, Price showing off some of his designer gear in a social media selfie, left, and the couple together on a shopping trip Mark Price, left, was jailed for seven years for possession of cocaine, and Locke, right, was sentenced to 15 months for acquiring criminal property Mr Griffiths said the couple spent around the same again on holidays, traveling to the United Arab Emirates, Spain, France and the Netherlands. The court heard Locke's spending habits were inconsistent with the salary from her supermarket job. Prosecutors said she posted incriminating pictures on Instagram which portrayed an extravagant lifestyle. When she was interviewed by the police, Locke stated she had no idea her boyfriend was a cocaine dealer and thought he was a builder. Other selfie taken by Locke, left, and a picture of plane tickets for the couple to Miami using a Louis Vuitton handbag as a backdrop lock also uploaded numerous holiday snaps despite earning less than £10,000 a year in Lidl other items she bought with the drug. Money included Christian Dior perfume, left, and a trip to Dubai, right the 22-year-old admitted acquiring criminal property. Jeffrey Jones, defending Price, suggested his client was immature and stressed he had no criminal record, adding, he has made a significant mistake. Judge Grotha jailed Price for seven years. The court heard Locke was 19 at the time of the offending, and Price, who is five years older, was her first boyfriend. Andrew Taylor, defending Locke, said she achieved three grade A's at A level, and was taking a degree in law and criminology. 
She hoped to train as a probation officer but started working at Lidl to earn money, before becoming obsessed with living like a celebrity. He told how many young people today are fixated by a Kim Kardashian type of lifestyle. She also posted pictures of luxury department store Harrods in London, left, and Louis Vuitton trainers, right. He said she was devastated by her arrest, described her as incredibly naive, adding, she has lost everything. Locke was jailed for 15 months. The court heard police raided Crowley and his partner Dion Thomas home, also in Carefilly and found 12 cannabis plants with a potential street value of up to nearly £8,000. Officers also discovered £4,000 in cash, which Thomas admitted hiding. She accepted she knew the money came from drugs and allowed it to pass through her bank account. Crowley, 28, admitted being concerned in the supply of cocaine, producing cannabis and supplying cannabis. Thomas, 25, admitted acquiring criminal property. She also posted this image, showing her driving a Ferrari Spider on holiday with price analysis of Price's phone also led the police to Christopher Morgan and they raided his home on January 5. Officers found 30 cannabis plants in his attic with an estimated potential yield of between 1 and 3 ounces per plant. The 30-year-old later admitted producing and supplying cannabis. Crowley was jailed for five years while Thomas was given a community order requiring her to complete 120 hours of unpaid work. Gareth Williams, defending Morgan, said the father of two used to work as a laborer and had a good business. Morgan was given 20 months imprisonment. A hearing under the Proceeds of Crime Act will follow. Christopher Morgan, left, was jailed for 20 months and Carl Crowley, right, was sentenced to five years in prison. Michael Coles officer in charge of the case for Gwent Police, said, I hope the sentences issued to these individuals highlight that the supply of controlled drugs will not be tolerated in carefully. These people endanger our community and this lengthy investigation shows we are committed to using all powers and resources available to bring them before the courts. I hope this sends a message to those who continue to be involved in the supply of controlled drugs, that you will not just be prosecuted. We will also use our powers to seize any financial assets you have acquired through criminality.